A Springdale company has created a rapid COVID-19 antibody test that has approval by the European Union. It's still pending approval here in the U.S. Today, we got a look inside the facility where those tests are made. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker tells us how the test works and why it's so important. It's pretty amazing. I'm really proud of the team. I mean, we've got about 37 people here or so. They're all focused. They've been so focused and working 24-7 to get this test developed. Now diagnostic CEO Kevin Clark says he doesn't believe there is another test like this on the market. It's a test that is simple enough that anyone can do it. There's no other reagents. Everything is self-contained. It is literally as simple as prick your finger, touch the device to it, lay it down. Ten minutes later, you've got the result. Clark says they did more than 900 clinical samples to know they could trust the statistics behind their product. When the pandemic happened, we really, you know, backed up and said, you know, is there something we can do? Well, the first thing we could do is build an antibody test. You know, that will detect and tell somebody if they've been exposed, um, either have the virus or have had the virus. Now Diagnostics is working on two more tests that use saliva to detect the COVID-19 virus and antibodies. In order to validate these tests, they are looking for volunteers to be part of their clinical studies that are happening right here in Northwest Arkansas. Operations manager Beth Cobb says anyone who was either tested positive or negative for COVID-19 can easily participate. One of the tests in particular that we're developing and we need these samples to develop that test is an antigen test. There is a massive need for this test on the market. This, all of our tests um, are self-contained tests so they require no external reagents, um, things that have been in high demand. In Springdale, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Now, Diagnostics filed an emergency use authorization with the FDA at the end of May, but its application is still pending. It hopes to hear back soon.